cabinet ministers and the officials for hosting this uh, meeting today. Uh, we had different members of the different regional committees and uh, senior officials uh, from the state as well as the district levels today in this meeting. And a uh, large number of uh, decisions uh, were uh, taken today. Uh, we have, uh, we are happy to inform the people of uh, both Assam and Meghalaya that uh, after a very long drawn exercise, we are now on the verge of also finalizing the actual pillars and the post and the actual boundary lines in uh, the first six areas uh, of differences which we have signed the MOU in the presence of Honorable uh, Home Minister, the Government of India. And uh, today in the meeting we have uh, uh, approved and uh, given a green signal for uh, the Ahim sector where the survey has been conducted along with uh, the Assam and the Meghalaya state uh, officials and uh, we are happy to announce that uh, the line has been finalized and similarly we have given instructions and, dec and decided today that uh, the rest of the five uh, areas of differences uh, again out of which three of them are very close to completion but we have instructed and made a decision that uh, by 31st of December, all these six areas where the MOU had been signed in the first phase, the actual line and demarcation by the survey of India, along with the officials of both the states, should be completed. So we have decided on that. So that is going to be a major, major uh, decision and a major push. We are happy that we have finally reached a conclusion. Uh, we have also uh, discussed about the other areas of differences and we are happy to inform that uh, in uh, uh, three of the areas we are moving very fast and we would like to resolve these issues. Uh, uh, we will inform the press later about the areas, but uh, three of the areas uh, we are moving very aggressively and we have taken a decision that both uh, the regional committee should try and uh, come to a conclusion at the earliest. Um, and we are working hard on that. At the same time, we had a very detailed discussion, especially regarding the uh, situation right now in Block 1 area, Kandoli to CR area. Uh, there is a recent incidents of law and order out there uh, and some incidents of some violence. Uh, so we have decided uh, as uh, both state governments that uh, wherever the uh, armed, the police forces from the respective state governments uh, had uh, been placed. Uh, we will uh, uh, ask the departments and the police to move back. And uh, in areas where uh, it is an uh, area where the, border is, uh, the borders are there specifically, uh, we will be asking the CRPF, Assam government will ask uh, from their side, uh, in areas where the Assam police had uh, put up some uh, outpost, uh, the CRPF to come in, a neutral force to come in, so that uh, the people of the area, whether from Assam side or from uh, Meghalaya side, uh, will feel more comfortable. And at the same time, some decisions have been taken that certain uh, armed uh, police forces which have been placed in certain areas, uh, if necessary, uh, they will be also uh, pulled back and uh, so that the confidence level goes up in the, in the people. So certain areas, uh, Assam will be pulling back and certain areas, Meghalaya side will be pulling back uh, our police forces. And this is being done to build up the confidence among the people. This is being done to send a positive message to the people. And uh, as I said, neutral forces will come into those places. And that way we will ensure that uh, there is no uh, violence that is there. And at the same time, we have asked our senior officials as well as regional committee chairmen to visit the locations and ensure that whatever steps need to be taken to ensure that there is peace, uh, those steps also uh, will be taken from the uh, both, the, both the state government side. Uh, at the same time, um, we have also decided that uh, the Honorable Chief Minister Assam and myself uh, will be visiting Khanduli Pasir area in the month of October, uh, most likely after the pujas. So in the fourth week of October, uh, our visit will be there. And uh, as I said, uh, we are continuously pushing and I once again thank all the uh, officials and uh, the other ministers as well as the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam 
uh, for taking the initiative and I'm sure that with all the efforts being put in, we will move towards a resolution which will be amicable and acceptable to both the states. Thank you very much. Further resolve the Assam Meghalaya border dispute. Discussion is very, very cordial and we have been able to take certain very, very important decisions today. Number one, as a confidence building measure and uh, not to put the respective officers of both the state in difficulty, we have decided to wind up the judicial commission ordered by Assam and Meghalaya to inquire the Mokrong uh, firing. Instead, both the government will now request CBI to investigate the matter instead of judicial commission and we will request CBI not to register the case either in Shillong or in Guwahati but in a neutral venue so that central government agency can inquire the incident of violence and we both wind up the judicial commission because none of the commission has able to make any progress because the judicial inquiry ordered by Assam Meghalaya is not Meghalaya witnesses are not coming and in the judicial inquiry ordered by Meghalaya government Assam witnesses are not going so in order to have a fair and impartial inquiry we decided that instead of pursuing judicial inquiry at the end of state government let us refer to an independent agency namely CBI and we will request CBI not to register the case in Bohati or Silong, but to register the case in an independent location, either in Delhi, Calcutta, or wherever they like. Number two, uh, in Khanduli PCR, recently Assam police has set up a police outpost. And in front of that police outpost, Meghalaya police has put up another outpost making it almost eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball confrontation. So what we have decided today, Assam police will put uh, CRPF in that uh, outpost and Meghalaya will also take their uh, police post to a little uh, behind so that it goes to a neutral police post and not neither Assam police, neither Meghalaya police is seen in actual area of conflict. We can come little later 200, 300 meter behind, we can put our police. But at the point of confrontation, let there be CRPF, not of the police of both the state. Number three, we have decided to quickly resolve three area of dispute. And uh, although Honorable Chief Minister Meghalaya is not mentioning the three area, but we have requested Chief Minister of Meghalaya that Assam is ready to quickly resolve the border dispute in Lampi, in Bordua and Desdumoria because that is a non six schedule area for us. We have more flexibility and we can quickly go and resolve. But of course the final modality has to be found out by the regional committee and we have asked the regional committees to make a presentation before Honorable CM Meghalaya within the shortest possible time and resolve these three disputes as quick as possible. Of course, final decision will be taken at the Chief Minister's level. Regarding the six area where we have already uh, resolved the issue, we are happy to inform you that finally Survey of India has completed their survey in Hahim. Now border pillar will be erected and both the state government has accepted the position. Today, Survey of India officials were there. We have requested other five areas, like Dijan, Tarabari, Ratachera. We asked them to quickly complete the survey before 31st December. In Tarabari area, there are some problem with one village, that Malang, Malang Salbil, uh, that Salbari. We have asked uh, Assam side to be little flexible while demarcating the border so that local people do not get unnecessary tents and we can resolve peacefully. So whatever little bit of flexibility we have to show in Tarabari, we will show, Assam will show. But let us quickly finish the border uh, uh, 
filler activity in six agreed area. Ahim already we did and we want to quickly do in Tarabari, in Dijang, in Khanapara, Pilinkata and Ratachera. So today overall it was a very very good discussion. We could take many decisions and we hope to visit uh, Khanduli PCR area in the last week of October and then carry forward the discussion in next two months so that at least in three disputed area out of six we can show some positive result other three we have uh, will when we will visit then we will talk to lo local people and we will try to uh, make an environment so that the ultimate race three also we will be able to resolve